Hello and welcome to the latest episode of the Low Budget Review Show. I am your host, Eric Smith, and today I am talking about Downdraught, a science fiction horror novella by Gareth L. Powell. And I don't know if you can see it, but see those little skulls? There's little skulls in the sky there. It's very subtle. It's very cool. I like that. I thought at first... Oh, yeah, you can see that. I thought at first it was kind of a just a v very plain, boring cover, but then I saw those those skulls. That looks really neat. Um, so, yeah, this is a, uh, a novella. And it's... Uh, the main character is named Lee. And he's a young kid at the beginning of the book with a friend named Carrie. And something happens... Something horrible happens when they're kids, and then we jump forward, and they've sort of gone their separate ways. Not sort of. They've gone their separate ways. Lee's in college. He's got a job doing computer programming stuff. Carrie shows up. Uh, she's had a relationship fall apart, so now they're, um, she moves in with him, and then uh, we... Some things happen, and then we jump ahead again, and eventually we get to uh, this sort of alien invasion. Something is invading the Earth, and uh, it's infecting people, and there's lockdowns, and there's just people dying all over. Lee's in the middle of all this, trying to put a stop to it, making bad decisions, uh, and Carrie's there until she's not there, and it's really difficult to describe, uh, shit happens. So, that's your nutshell, I guess. Um, as I said, this is, this is a difficult one to describe. It's, we follow Lee throughout his life, and there's a lot of, uh, I thought of them as, like, smash cuts, because we have, we start when Lee is a kid. Lee and Carrie are kids; uh, they're best friends. And then, uh, and we we just we're introduced to them, and we see them as kids hanging out together. And then some things start to change a little, because you know kids are growing up. And then there's an incident that I will not tell you about that pretty much puts a wedge in between them. And then we smash cut. That's the term that came into my head. We smash cut to Lee now in college and uh, working this job and living his life. And <clears throat> Carrie comes back into his life because, again, she's had a relationship fall apart. She needs a place to crash, so she moves in with him. Um, he puts the moves on her, and she's like, whoa, I don't do dudes. What are you doing? But she doesn't leave. And they're friends, and some other things happen, and then we smash cut again, and it's years later, and Lee's situation has changed. Um, Carrie's not living with him anymore. She's got her own relationship, and there's a kid involved now, and then these this sort of invasion, whatever it is, starts happening. And it, it's affecting people all over the world. And it has a very profound effect on Lee. And then we smash cut again a little bit further into the future. And the world's kind of chaotic now. Things again happen with, with Lee. His company is involved in trying to stop whatever's happening. And something it's I don't want to being an, again as always with a novella. Got to be careful that I don't give anything away, so I have to skip over a lot of details. Some things happen. We smash cut again. Some more time has gone by, and um, Lee makes a decision. Turns out to be the wrong decision. Smash cut again, um, and couple more smash cuts and things get this book goes way out there literally and figuratively we end up in space um <laughs> so 
I like Gareth L. Powell. I've reviewed, I think I reviewed all three of his Akak Macaq books. Uh, the first three, there's, I think there's a novella that I haven't read because you got to buy the collection. And I already have the first three. It's a whole thing. But anyway, loved those books. Got some of his other stuff I haven't had a chance to read yet. But this just came out and it's nice and short. And I was trying to pad my numbers at the end of the year. Um, so this bumped up to the head of the line. Uh, and I like it. Um, I only gave it a four out of five on Goodreads because I think personally this would have been better served as a full length novel. Uh, it, it, <clears throat> it tells the story it, it wants to tell, but we have those smash cuts. As, again, I'm just calling them that. I don't know what, if there's a technical term for it, these just jump jumps forward in time. Um, I, I would have liked the characters fleshed out even more. I would have, uh, I would have preferred to see more interaction between uh, Lee and Carrie and some of the other characters that I'm not going to mention because of things that happen. Um, yeah, I absolutely. <coughs> excuse me, getting a dry throat. <coughs> <clears throat> pardon me, absolutely think this this would have been better as a, a longer book. Uh, it's, you know, that happens sometimes. Sometimes a book is too long, should have been shorter. Sometimes a book is, uh, is short and should have been longer. That's me. That's my opinion. I would have liked to have seen more character development. Um, just more of the story. Uh, the kind of thing... Since I'm already using video terminology, uh, you know, when you see a movie and you think, wow, they tried to pack too much into that two hours or two and a half hours, maybe this would have been better served as a as a mini series or a just a one season TV show. That's the feeling I got from this. I, I would have loved I would have loved more, um, which I suppose is a good thing. But it did leave me feeling a little disappointed, which is why it's only getting four out of five uh, stars. But I do recommend it. It's a great story. I, I recommend anything I've read by Gareth L. Powell. Uh, we'll see how the other stuff is <laughs> when I get to it. But um, yeah, it's it's an interesting story. It goes in directions I did not expect. Again, being a novella, difficult to talk about it uh, without giving anything away. <clears throat> Uh, there's even there's actually something that's mentioned on the uh, back cover that I have not mentioned because um, I just think I think you need to discover it for yourself. Um, yeah, that's not sure what else I can say about this. I say that a lot for these for these reviews, but you know it is what it is, I guess. That's Downdraught by Gareth L. Powell. Um, I recommend it. Check it out. Definitely. Yeah, science fiction horror novella is the perfect description. So, if you have any comments, questions, or corrections, please put them in the comments below. Comments are open for spoilers. Just post a spoiler warning. We try to be polite here at the Low Budget Review Show. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. If you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter is Ronin5757. My Instagram is... Eric Smith 5757, that's Eric with a K, E R I K S M I T H 5757. And yeah, I think that covers it. This has been the Low Budget Review Show. I have been Eric Smith. And until next time, read more books.